Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm going to be doing small space gardening. Now I have, um, well this is a, a narrow space here that I'm growing. The, the, the shade side is actually the raised bed. So if I want to grow some vegetables, a lot of the stuff really grows a lot faster and they would benefit a lot more uh, uh, having sunsh sunshine. And so this side against the wall is actually where the sun will hit most of the day. So I'm just going to be uh, utilizing these uh, milk, cart uh, milk crates that I already have on hand. So I thought it would be pretty handy, very easy to make. I just I picked up some garden or landscape fabric. You can pick them up easily at any kind of home improvement stores. And uh, they should have in their nursery gardening section and different um, material, different options. So anyway, I just cut them into size. and. It's going to be super easy. I'm just going to lay them out. And, um, oh yeah. Got myself some rocks to kind of lay them down. So what I'm going to be doing is as simple as grabbing two different sizes. This is the narrow one. Which goes down this way. this one so I got them lined up quite nicely here Next I'm going to be pouring these uh, potting soil mix in the crates. Some of you guys were curious what kind of potting soil I like to use. So these two are my favorites. Uh, I got Fox Farm and Vermifier. Besides these two, I also like uh, Dr. Earth, but I don't have that here today. So I'm just going to use what I have. I really like these ones because they're they're very organic, they're non-GMO, they use, um, there's a lot of uh, you know good compost really rich in there there's especially this one here this one actually does really well for like establishing uh, establishing a strong root system because it has a lot of the microbes you know the beneficial um, microbes that are or fungi in this bag here so I really like that about it they cost a little more than the ones you would find at the regular stores but I really love the results of these I picked these up at the hydroponic store so, oh, by the way, I'm not sponsored by these companies, but if they would like to do that, I definitely don't mind at all. So let's get going. I'm just going to pour these down and start laying out some plants because it is about to get dark here. Depends on what you guys are growing, but sometimes I might like my soil to be a little more light and for better drainage. And this stuff keeps it nice and keeps the the soil nice and light. Uh, just some uh, perlite. Now I'm also reusing some soil. Aside from these, I also like to add biochar, C90 plus minerals, which is a type of sea salt and uh, rock dust. So I'm just going to mix all this stuff up. And here's the C90 minerals. Good morning you guys. So last night I finished off prepping all the crates that I'll be growing in and so today I'm going to be putting in these plants that I picked up at the farmer's market. I got some strawberries, dill, and um, chamomile. I'm starting off pretty, consider pretty late, I think, for spring season in SoCal. So something that would help speed up this growing process is to start them off with um, getting some plants to uh, grow, and then I'll start off some seeds for some other stuff. So let's get going. Just gonna lay out where I want stuff to be.
These ones stay pretty tall. These ones stay short. So the short stuff, we're going to go in the front. So one of my lovely customers gave me these purple cuttings. So thank you for them. They're really lovely purple colored, tree colored. I grow the green ones and the purple ones tend to not grow as well. I think they don't take the heat as well as the green ones. Uh, but anyway, I still like to have a variety in my garden. And uh, they were so beautiful when I got them, I decided to use it as a floral, floral arrangement. And so they actually rooted. it. It's time to get these in the crates. I just now decided that I'm going to have this crate be um, herbs growing for the kitchen. I got the dill, uh, mirror, how do you say this? <laughs> Marjoram, I really like the way this smells. Mm. And some, uh, this is lemon thyme. So I think this would be good together because this one actually grows quite tall. I just want one tall plant in the back and then, you know, some uh, shorter stuff in the front. You can see it's kind of root bound. I'm just going to take it apart a little. I'm not too worried because these things are usually pretty, uh, uh, pretty hardy. What I also have here is a plantain. It's a, what is it also called? Broadleaf or something. And I'm going to be planting this underneath the purple collar tree. Uh, this one I got at the Heirloom Expo last year. Um, it was very generous of one of the vendors actually gifted this to me. So thank you. And uh, this is actually a variety of the weed that you would see just like dandelions, but this is a plantain broad um, leaf with a nice purple tone to it. Okay, next I am going to be placing this on top um, as a top layer to protect the soil, especially being in the sun, like the full sun area. I really want to protect the, the, the soil, the roots, and to retain more moisture in the soil so I don't have to water as often. And um, right here I got some natural bark that's uncolored and um, totally natural. You can use wood chips, mulch, you know. Um, compost like not compost but like dried leaves or things like that but um, this is just really easy for me to get and um, let's put them in
I got about half an inch of this bark layering on top of the soil. And now to finalize, I'm just going to cut this, um, the, the extra uh, cloth here away and it will look nice and clean and then we're going to water it. Thanks for joining me today and getting some food growing out here. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you're looking for plants to add to your garden collection, I would love for your support at my website. I will leave the link down below for you guys to go check out and um, subscribe to this channel if you haven't. There's going to be lots more videos for gardening and plants, things like that coming out your way very soon. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. That's it. Have a lovely day and I will see you right back here in the next video. Bye. Dill, oregano. I know this is not oregano. This is Miriam. How do you say it? Miriam? I can't say it. <laughs>